Seoul is a popular tourist destination for foreigners and a major cultural hub in Asia. But the Korean government is trying to diversify its attractions by introducing a variety of unique tourist programs. Our Kim ji followed some tourists traveling to some of Korea's provincial regions for this report. Korea has launched a bus service catering to foreign tourists to promote tourism in the country's provincial regions. Organized by the Visit Korea Committee, the K Travel Bus Package offers convenient services at a low price. For an overnight trip, packages can range from 150 to 170 U.S. dollars per person. This group of 10 tourists had the chance to visit Korea's southern city of Dongyang. My first time in Tongyang, and I'm, it's like what I felt in Busan. I fell in love right away. Anything, like everything, has prepared for you. The food, the the transportation, and everything. Even like the guide is also there to help you with a explanation. If there's no like English translation, it's great. One of the best things about this program is that we are able to bond with other foreign tourists during the trip. I would definitely recommend the bus travel program to acquaintances back in my home country. Another rising trend in the local tourism sector that is attracting large groups of foreigners is incentive travel, in which foreign companies send employees on vacation to Korea as a reward for their hard work. 6,000 tourists from China, the largest group to visit Korea at a time, are divided into groups to see this tourist attraction in Songdo, in Cheon City. Attracting incentive travel is a major focus for the local tourism sector due to potentially huge profitability for the regions. The 6,000 Chinese tourists visiting as a result of incentive travel is estimated to generate 10.3 million U.S. dollars for the city of Incheon. It also helps boost the image of the city as a tourist destination and offers foreigners another destination besides the traditional tourist regions of Jeju Island and the capital of Seoul. To attract large numbers of tourists like Incheon has, the professor says that provincial cities need to devise ways to accommodate tens of thousands of tourists at a time and provide large venues for recreation as well as dining options. He also says that there's a need for better cultural content and exhibition programs that are unique to each region. Kim Jian, Arirang News.